Hey everybody and welcome back to the Creative Kindergarten YouTube channel. I'm Amanda and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Docs in order to create your own name Play-Doh mats or name tracers. <music> I have done a few videos in the past where I've shown you how to use Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint in order to create um, your own name tracers or Play-Doh mats. Um, I've had questions of people coming and asking me how to do it within a Google program in Google Drive. And the best one I found so far is Google Docs. I'm going to put a disclaimer that if you can use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, I would definitely go with them just because of the font situation. It's just a lot easier to find the appropriate fonts that you can use rather than using it in Google Docs. So let's get started and I will talk to you a little bit more about how you can use it in Google um, Docs. First of all, you want to open a new one and create it. And we are going to change the orientation of the paper first. So the first thing you're going to do is file and then go to page setup. Once you get there, you want to change it to landscape. And while we're here, we're going to change the margins to 0.5 instead of one, because we don't need that big of a margin. And then it just gives us more space to work in. So once you've done that, just click OK. And we have our Google Doc that is ready for us to type in. Now, the thing with the fonts on Google Docs is that you need um, a, a font that is available on their cloud service. That's why you're not able to import your own customized fonts that you can like buy on Teachers Pay Teachers. You have to use the fonts that are they, they have available, which makes this a little bit more difficult because they don't have a great selection of fonts for creating things for the classroom that I have found so far. So... If you can do it on PowerPoint or Word, I would definitely recommend that. And again, I'll link those videos down below. But if you have to work within Google Docs, this is the best fonts that I have found so far. I'm sure there's other ones. There might be other ways to do this that I just don't know about because I don't really use Google products for creating things for our classroom. So that's my disclaimer and let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you have to go to your add-ons and if you don't have this extensus fonts add-on, you have to go get it. That's where you find all the better fonts to make uh, that are available. So you just go to get add-ons and then once it pops over here, just search fonts. As you can see, I've already searched it and then it'll come up, it's the first one and it is free to download. Once you buy it, you don't have to uh, purchase any fonts. So that's the good thing about it. It'll have this blue box here. This is the first one here. You wanna get this extensus font add-on. You just click the blue button and it'll say free and it automatically adds it. And you'll have to just say yes to their terms and conditions or whatever it is and just give it a couple minutes and it'll eventually be added into your program and then you'll just have it and then you'll be able to use all the fonts that are available there. So the first thing we're gonna do is type the name that you want. I center it into the middle of the page and then you will have to search and add some fonts. So the first one, you're gonna type in L-O-N and Londrina outline is going to come up. I already had, add, had added it, so it was blue, but you're just going to click on it to get that little check mark. And now we have that font added. And this is one that is perfect for creating Play-Doh mats because it's a nice chunky font. It is way too small for you to see. So I'm going to put it up to 190 and then nice and big, the font size at 190 is perfect to create a nice Play-Doh mat. And as you can see, it has the nice lowercase letter formations. That's not that fancy A. And we have that. You can type two names to a page if you wanted to. If you wanted to make, let's say the first one for Amanda and the second one for Jason, then you can cut them in half and you have two Play-Doh mats to a page. Or if you wanted to give extra practice and put the same name on the sheet twice, you could also change it so that you have a Play-Doh option on the top and then a tracing option on the bottom. So this you could keep as a Play-Doh option. And then on the bottom, if you wanted to make it into a tracing activity and give them a whiteboard marker to trace it, I have found a couple of fonts that might work for this. So the first one that I found is called, you'll have to do the same thing again, where you go to more fonts to add it. And it's called Cody Star. So once you click on more fonts, you want Cody Star, C-O-D-Y-S-T-A-R. And as you can see, it's much too big. So I think I had it down to 150 to keep it on the page. There we go. And here is the problem with this font. I don't know if you've noticed it already. It's all uppercase letters. 
not the greatest option when you're teaching students how to write their names or writing sight, uh, sight words or anything like that with proper letter formation. So though it is a great tracing font with the dots, it's not great for teaching letter formation. This might be useful for you for a different activity, but not necessarily when you're teaching students how to create proper letter formations. So I was trying to come up with a solution because I couldn't find any other tracing fonts within the Google uh, fonts um, that are available. So instead, I had the idea that instead of having a dotted font that you have to trace, why don't we find a great font with letter formations that we like like this quicksand font that has nice letter formations. It doesn't have that fancy A and then instead make it bold and then change the color to a gray. And then that way students will have to trace over the letters. Let's see if we can even make it a little bit bigger. And then you don't even have to keep it bold if you don't want to, just depends on how you want it to look. But now students can use a whiteboard marker and they can trace over the gray. That might even still be a bit too dark. You might be able to go a little bit lighter. And now students can trace over these letters and you'll be able to see the marker lines, whereas if it was a straight black color, they might not be able to see the, the letters that they're tracing. If you just do a gray one, and you they might have a better chance of tracing over those letters. And I like these letter formations much better than I like them for that Cody Star font where the dots just they don't have it with lowercase letters and I don't find that as useful. So that is an easy way to create Play-Doh mats for your students and that have the option of using Play-Doh to make the letters or having whiteboard markers. You can put them both on the same page. You can put them on different pages. You can do this with even, I said name, but you could do this with sight words. You could do this with anything really numbers, anything that you want, you can also use um, Google Docs to create. So I hope that was useful to you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to show you how to do. Any more questions you have about using Google Docs, I'll try to help you out with that. I'll make sure all the information that I told you about is in the description box, including the names of the fonts and the add-ons that we had to do. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all next time.